So here's how Antifa logic works, for those who aren't familiar. They, the uh, radical left, the domestic terrorists amongst Antifa, they think, you know what, we police are corrupt, and so we need to prevent them from getting better training, because that makes sense to the absolute and utter morons within Antifa, within the radical left in general. I'm not just talking about the domestic terrorists that if you're watching, you can see on the screen right now, the ones that attacked the Atlanta police training facility with with Molotov cocktails, rocks, bricks, fireworks, everything, destroying anything they could get their, their hands on. Meanwhile, police are stuck because they're outnumbered. They, they're... <laughs> trying to not get hit by fireworks. I mean, this was an attack. This was a terrorist attack by Antifa. And so people who say, oh, you know, Antifa, including FBI's Christopher Ray, oh, Antifa, they're not really organized. Look at this. This is organization. This was planned. The vast majority of the people that were arrested, there are currently, as, as of this show, there are 35 people who have been arrested so far. They're all from out of state. This is not some, hey, guys, let's just get together and have a spontaneous protest. And oh my gosh, look, everybody brought black clothing and, and masks to change into from what was supposed to be a peaceful protest. Let's just get hundreds of people together spontaneously. There's no there's, there's no Antifa, you know, as Christopher Ray says, it's just an ideology. It's not, a, not an organization. This, if you're watching on screen, is an organization. They are highly organized highly motivated and i would say highly illegal <laughs> but the funny part is and this is where it gets ironic i guess you could say uh is that one of the people that was arrested <laughs> turns out to be working for an organization that the fbi absolutely adores first real quick just for background last night uh, and this is an article by the right scoop.com Antifa violently attacks Atlanta police with bricks, Molotov cocktails, fireworks. Last night, and that was uh, Monday night, I'm sorry, Sunday night, last night, Antifa attacked Atlanta police officers over a proposed new training facility. Andy No um, says, the, the reporter Andy No says, the rioters are part of Defend ATL Forest, an armed group that occupied public lands for months near Atlanta. No says that uh, this Antifa group ha was getting revenge on police for their autonomous zone being shut down, 19 of their members being charged with domestic terrorism. According to the police, Antifa used the cover of a peaceful protest to attack the officers with rocks, bricks, Molotov cocktails, and fireworks. They changed into black clothing, clothing and, at least initially, forced officers to retreat as they destroyed construction equipment. And it was it was really bad. Now, fast forward to today, according to CBS News, 35 people have been detained. Uh, after the coordinated attack at Atlanta's cop city. Nearly three dozen people have been detained after flaming bottles and rocks were thrown at officers during a violent protest at a new police training center that's been the site of prior demonstrations and the death of a protester, Atlanta police said. And for those who don't recall last year, I forgot the guy's name, but uh, one of the protesters, armed protesters, was shot and killed and caused rioting, all this other stuff. Why? Because this guy who took shots at police was killed by police for taking shots at police but hey you know what it's all police aren't allowed to actually promote law and order because antifa and their thugs do not believe in law and order they just want what they believe to be anarchy where they want they want neo neo-marxism or i guess you could say anarcho-communism is the way that they classify but really in reality all this is is radical leftism this is the the result of a democrat party that is lurching to the left and has been for over a decade now Back to the article, Atlanta Police Chief Darren Sheerbaum said at a midnight news conference that several pieces of construction equipment were set on fire Sunday at the site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center in DeKalb County. Surveillance video, which we saw, yada, yada, yada. Authorities charged 23 people with domestic terrorism in connection with the protest, according to the Atlanta Police Department. The protesters facing charges whose names and photographs were published by law enforcement are from various states across the U.S., as well as Canada. Okay, Antifa is so bad, so evil, so disgusting that even they've been able to corrupt even Canadians, eh? We're sorry. As well as Canada and France. <laughs> okay, they can bring their French, uh, whatever. I'm not going to go there. According to police, their ages range from 18 uh, years old to nearly 50. Huh, crazy. It's not just like students protesting at uh, the Arc de Triomphe or anything like that. This is actually a coordinated effort. Radical leftists of all ages, hippies and all. 
the Georgia Bureau of Investigations filed all charges. Yay. But here's I, the, what I want to get to is this one. This is the part that got me. OK, <laughs> Greg Price um, posted this tweet. One of the Antifa members arrested on domestic terrorism charges in Atlanta last night is a staff attorney with the Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center, for those who don't know, is an organization that is as as radical left as you can get when still somehow be able to maintain alleged credibility amongst corporate media. People turn to them, oh, they, they are the ones that, you know, they go after the actual domestic terrorists. They're the ones that that will highlight and create these lists and put put people on lists. Now, I'm not going to say that everybody they put on a list doesn't isn't uh, bad. They do put some pretty bad people on those lists, lists of domestic terrorists, lists of hate groups, as they like to call them. Some of them are to hate groups. But a lot of them aren't, okay? I sometimes check to see if I'm on that list. Why? Because I say say crazy things, you know, hateful things like, like I believe in the Bible, which is apparently, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, a sign that you may be a domestic terrorist or part of a hate group if you believe in the, the Holy Bible <laughs> or, or the, the tenets thereof. But hey, who who knows? Yeah, so take a look at this guy. If you can see on the screen, this is, this is him. <laughs> Let's get, there he is. This guy, and then as Greg Price also noted, the guy is uh, six foot tall and weighs 150 pounds, which I think my left arm weighs 150 pounds. And I, granted, I do have to go on a diet, but still, I'm not six foot. And <laughs> well, this, these guys, these uh, Antifa soy boys, and yes, they are soy boys, but they're violent. They're they're only violent when they have the numbers. They're only violent when they they have anonymity. They're only violent when they think that they can't be hurt. This is why they like to go places where anybody who might stand up to them isn't going to be. These aren't tough guys. These aren't people that are fighting the good fight, you know, no matter what, you know, risk to, I mean, these guys, I'd be shocked if at least half of them, if not more of them, were bawling their eyes out as they were getting arrested, thinking, oh my gosh, I thought we were going to get away with it. There were so many people there, and it was so much fun. And I, you know, yes, I threw a Molotov cocktail, but hey, it's because we want to defund police, and the police are bad, so we don't want them trained because they're bad. So training would be bad for police. Makes no sense. Southern Poverty Law Center is, in my humble opinion, they claim to be the, uh, against domestic terrorism they are domestic terrorism enablers why because they support guys like this they are guys like this this guy is a staff attorney for the southern poverty law center he's out there tossing molotov cocktails he's out there firing fireworks at police officers he's a scumbag is what he is it's unfortunate that in america in 2023 we have a hard time finding doctors and pharmacists and pharmaceutical companies that we can trust. I have been able to find one that I trust wholeheartedly based upon the, the trustworthiness of the doctors and the people involved. It took me a little while to vet them out, but I've finally come to the conclusion that the wellness company is definitely worth it. You can check them out at jdrucker.com slash well, jdrucker.com slash well. And they don't just sell uh, supplements and stuff like that, that they do that, but they, they do more than that. They have services available that can help you, for example, to, to break free from big pharma's grasp over our lives. They, they help people to, to even get away from pharmaceuticals altogether. Where have you ever heard of a medical company that does that? So check them out. The wellness company at jdrucker.com slash well.